Grade 8 Competition Math Competition math is a great way to better understand and apply math in real life. Before we start, you should have already watched all our videos about fundamental math concepts and techniques. We will go through each question and explain in details about the most recent Grade 8 contest from the University of Waterloo. There are 25 questions in total, and we will quickly go through all questions. You can stop the video, read the questions first, and think about your own answer. Then, look at our recommended solutions. Part A. Easy questions. 1. This is a simple conversion. The answer is 0 0.25. 2. This is a simple graph. The answer is 4 days. 3. The factors of 15 is 3 and 5. If you know the divisibility rules, 25 is not divisible by 3. So the answer is B. 4. This is a simple order. The middle number is 0. 5. This is simple algebra, n is 7, so 10 times n is 70. 6. This is simple probability. 2 losses over 6 possibilities, the answer is a. 7. Q can only be 0, and P can only be 1, so the answer is 1. 8. For any ratio problem, you can just assume the real number is the same as the ratio. So 3 liters of oil and 2 liters of vinegar, the new ratio is 3 over 2. 9. The total cost of the three items is $15. 5% tax is 75 cents. The answer is D. 10. Reflecting in the Y axis means the Y value is the same. The Y value for choice C is 4, which is incorrect. Part B. Medium questions. 11. If you know the Pythagorean theorem, you know the answer is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 equals 22. 12. Since PQS is 125, SQR and SRQ are both 55. X is 180 minus 55, then minus 55, X is 70. 13. You need to check which number divided by 3 has a remainder of 2. The answer is 29. 14. These five numbers, 4, minus 3, 2, minus 1, and 0, with a sum of 2, have repeated 4 times. So the sum of the first 20 integers is 2 times 4, which is 8. Then, the next 3 integers are 4, minus 3, and 2, with a sum of 3. So, the sum of all integers is 8 plus 3, which is 11. 15. The radium is 30. The circumference of the tires is 2 times 30 times pi, which is 60 pi. Since it rotates 5 times, 60 pi times 5 is 300 pi. 16. There are four pairs of numbers, so the sum of each pair is the sum of all numbers divided by 4. The sum of all numbers is 216, 216 divided by 4 is 54. So the number paired with 13 is 54 minus 13, which is 41. 17. The sum of the first 25 days is 25 times 21, which is 525. The sum of the remaining 5 days is 5 times 15, which is 75. The sum of all days is 525 plus 75, which is 600. 600 divided by 30 days, the answer is 20. 18. If you know the divisibility rules, you can break down 630 into 3 times 3 times 7 times 2 times 5. By using a factor of 5, there are 5 numbers that can meet the requirements. 10, 15, 30, 45, 35. The answer is D. 19. Assume the lawn is 1 square meters. How much did Ryan cut from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m.? It's 3 over 8, and during 60 minutes. There is still 1 eighth left, and it will take another 20 minutes. So the answer is C. 20. This is quite complex. If you try several times according to the rules, you will know that the positions of the four tiles in row 2, 3 and 4, are completely determined by the tiles in row 1. So it's basically the different combinations of row 1, which is 4 times 3 times 2 equals to 24. Part C. Hard questions. 21. If you know the Pythagorean theorem, you know that line N, O is 60, so line N, P is 147. The area of PMN is 147 times 63 over 2. The answer is D. 22. To calculate the average speed, you need to calculate the total distance and total time first. 
The total distance is 4.5 times 2, which is 9 kilometers. The total time spent is 150 minutes plus 50 minutes, which is 200 minutes, or 3.3 hours. 9 kilometers over 3.3 hours, the answer is E. 23, this is a little bit complex. The total water is the same as the volume of cylinder B, which is 8 times 8 times pi times 50, which is 3200 pi. After some water is poured from cylinder B into cylinder A, the total volume of water in the two cylinders will be 3200 pi. Let HCM be the height of the water in each of the two cylinders when the height of the water in both cylinders is the same. At this time, the volume of water in cylinder B is 64 pi h, and the volume of water in cylinder A is 36 pi h. To solve the h, the answer is 32. 24, this is a guessing game, and need a lot of reasoning. Firstly, you need to figure out the range of a number, like the range for A. You can do some conversion, so that B is represented by A. Since B is an integer, so 5 times A over 2 should also be an integer. A has to be an even number. Because A is less than B, to solve the inequality, A is less than 20. Since A plus B is less than 100, to dissolve the inequality, A is greater than negative 20. As a result, A is an even number between negative 20 and positive 20. There are 19 numbers that can meet the requirements. So the answer is B. 25. This is another complex guessing game. For any triangle, the sum of the lengths of two sides is always greater than the length of the third side. This property is known as the triangle inequality. If for example the side lengths of a triangle are A, B and C, then the triangle inequality says that A plus B is greater than C, A plus C is greater than B, and B plus C is greater than A. Without thinking of N, there is only one solution, 4, 10, and 13. This means that we need to determine values of N for which there are exactly three different ways to choose two of the integers 3, 4, 10, 13 and form a triangle whose side lengths are equal to those two integers in n. There are six possible ways to choose two integers from the list 3, 4, 10, 13. Thus for each value of n, the triangles we need to consider have side lengths 3, 4, n or 3, 10, n or 3, 13, n or 4, 10, n or 4, 13, n or 10, 13, n. By working out all the possibilities, we can figure out what the value of n can make triangles for those situations. Recall that for each value of n, we need exactly three of the six triangles to satisfy the triangle inequality, while the triangle with side lengths 4, 10, 13 is the fourth. Clearly for values of n less than 7, there are too few triangles, and similarly for values of n greater than 16, there are also too few triangles. In the table below, we summarize our work by placing a check mark if the triangle satisfies the triangle inequality and then counting the number of such triangles. Therefore, there are exactly four different values of n that satisfy the given conditions, and the sum of these values of n is 8 plus 9 plus 14 plus 15 equals 46. We have just went through all the questions for the recent contest. You may try to do some previous contests by your own pace. With more practice, you can be best prepared for any math competition. Thanks for watching.